here to talk about 90 Day Fiance. And uh, I've been hearing a lot of things about some of these stories or maybe suspect like uh, Jabri and uh, his wife, like they're saying they're already married. Yeah, were they? Um, and then, you know, all the other controversy of, you know, you know, the way how her appearances have been switching up a little bit. Oh, I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah. The, yeah, the black fishing. Yeah, it's like, um, I don't know why these producers think people's lives aren't interesting enough as they are. Like, they got to add little twists and turns. We'll still watch it. I mean, you don't have to make stuff up because we find out anyway. So I, they said his name wasn't even Jabri, remember? Yeah, and then there was that whole storyline of... Um, I forgot the guy's name where he played that prank and um, oh with the house mm -hmm. yeah the um the uh, the guy that tried to make his uh, fiance think that his house was poor just to see if she was a gold digger I heard that was fake too because they said she'd already seen his rich house online so she already knew so I'm like it's inconsistent yeah it's like yeah <laughs> i guess if i critique the show from now on i'll just pretend i don't know that it's scripted and just base it off what they show us but um i heard things about angela and michael too they're saying she was on a bunch of reality shows and they're not really married they're just kind of in it for the clout or the money so um i guess it's not really reality yeah i mean which kind of there are reality shows that mimic and and are essentially a parody of reality which kind of sucks and takes you know the emotions out of it because it's kind of you know you don't want to get as invested because you know that that's really not what's going on behind the scenes it's just kind of like a full front yeah that, that's kind of frustrating because you know people become uh enamored with these couples and you know they really get involved and give their opinions people start whole instagram pages on it and then you find out well this was fake so I haven't found out some of the Jersey Shore episodes were fake, and I, I kind of wondered, but um, like I said, if I critique it, I guess I'll just pretend I don't know and just base it off what I see. But um, there's a lot of interesting personalities on this season of 90 Day Fiance. Um, and I, I'm a mess with the names, you know, I'm not gonna remember all the names, I'll just describe the couples. Um, but. I think I find the most interesting one, Jabri, and what's his wife's name, Miona? Yeah, I think it Something is like Miona, that. yeah. His, uh, Jabri's mom was telling her about how she dresses, and I guess she doesn't want her walking around the house scantily clad in front of her husband, because uh, <laughs> it just wouldn't be a good thing for their marriage, I guess, but... um. I mean, I have my own opinions about that. I feel like that's more speaking on the mom's insecurity, but, you know, it is her house and her rules. Um, so you do have to, you know, respect where somebody is coming from and their boundaries if you're going to be, you know, in their environment. But I think that that could have been handled a little bit differently. But but I thought the, the wife... Uh... I, what's, I keep messing up with Miona. I felt like she kind of contradicted herself because she said the way she dresses isn't who she is, but then later she turned around and said the way she dresses is an expression. So how can you express yourself then if that's not who you are? Um, but I don't know. Um, like I said, if, if uh, the husband is, it depends what the husband feels, I guess, but I guess they're living under their parents' house. So I guess, I don't know, it's a tricky situation. Yeah, and I mean, it is, I could tell um, a situation where people are a little bit more sensitive than, you know, um, they're able to get along with um, just because that whole situation with the dinner and, you yeah. know, Jabri felt like his parents were disrespecting them, but they didn't even really put that much effort because it was a frozen meal. So right. it, it's just a lot of different expectations that don't necessarily hold up or, you know, make any sense. By the way, how do you mess up a frozen meal? Isn't everything kind of, isn't that the point of getting a frozen meal that, you know, it's kind of already really made, you just add the sauce or whatever you've got, you know, how do you ruin that? Yeah, that's, I don't know, but you know, <laughs> hot sauce does make everything taste better. So I think that the parents were on the money with that one. So 
Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, the, the um, Jabri's mom was eating some of the pasta. She put hot sauce on it, and her husband was like, yeah, bring that down here. Like, <laughs> I need to smother this. But uh, I think they'll make it because I I just think... Uh, they fit each other well. Yeah. They're both very eccentric personalities. Um, you know, a little bit hard to handle on their own, but I think that their issues are manageable and, you know, nobody... I don't see anything that's not uh, easily rectified being in the future. Yeah, like, um, how do you feel about the guy that faked his house? Do you think they'll make it? Like, his the, the woman he's engaged to, I forget her name, she seems kind of, um, like, set in her ways, kind of robotic. Like, she's talking to the children about kids and they weren't really too comfortable with her having children with their dad and she said maybe in the future you could call me mom and i guess they weren't feeling that so yeah i she's mean a bit stiff yeah i get where like the kids are coming from because i don't feel like she was really putting in that much effort you could tell that she was a little bit guarded and closed off so i mean if you're going to go with that approach then also you know verbally do that approach too i don't think it's fair for her to be expecting so much from the children when she's not putting that much effort in herself yeah yeah she kind of reminds me of uh Chardet a little bit you know something about her yeah kind of mysterious but um, what's the couple where the guy was talking about he wanted a laptop? I don't, I don't know <laughs> if they're gonna make it. I don't know because uh, they're too emotionally immature, yeah. and I don't think that they. I think there's a physical attraction for sure, but that's not all that it takes for a marriage. It, right. There's a lot of other variables that I don't feel like they both mentally and emotionally have reached at that point. So I, I don't see it being past like a year or yeah, two. It, I, I think you're right. Yeah, but it was funny, you know, the whole you know laptop thing. I think that they could yeah. be good friends, um, but I don't think anything more than that yeah, romantically. I yeah, I don't think so either. Um, what do you think of the couple, uh, the the young lady that's dating the African guy where they have a baby? How they were getting along and now they're kind of beefing a little bit. I think I think they'll make it though. Yeah, um, even though I do think that he was better with his ex just because she matches his calm demeanor. Oh, you're talking about, um, you're talking about the, uh, Ethiopian. Um, oh, you're ben, talking ben, about. Yeah, I was talking about the, uh, the guy that has the baby and they're just talking about breastfeeding and all that. Oh yeah, they'll definitely make it. Yeah, I think, I they'll think make it. I think they're a little trivial and they get like petty sometimes like with the breastfeeding situation yeah. but I mean again you know if it really is a cultural difference and I think they respect each other enough from what is seen so far to... yeah 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 I think they'll make it um as far as the couple you were talking about uh Ben and um her name is Air, Air, I, forget. I think she's a bit bossy but he seems like he's willing to put up with it he wants to get into mixed martial arts once they move into america and she's not so set on it and i guess she googled it and saw they don't make all that much money but you know you don't want to be a dream killer if that's what he wants to do you know support him it's you know better than nothing Right, and maybe that'll, like, guide him to, because, you know, she never knows if that door will actually open up or if that will show him exactly what he wants instead of that. Um, but I do think that, yeah, his ex-girlfriend was way more chill and calm, and they, they blended better than, yeah. than they do, and I know that his side of the family would probably lean more towards the ex's side than with her. It's yeah, just she just too... seemed more mellow. I don't know why that situation didn't work out. Um, but also, too, you know, she's talking about what MMA fighters make. That can lead to other things. It can lead to endorsement deals. You can get, you know, you never know what you can get from that. I mean, it's not just getting paid from that. You can get paid off social media after that. He can blow up on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. So, um what other couple are there? Uh, oh, there's that uh, power lifter dude and the uh, Brazilian girl. I think they'll make it if he gets rid of his alcoholic brother because he seems like he's going to be a problem. Yeah, I think she had different expectations and I think she's more freeing and liberating, which um, does complement um, the power lifter guy's behavior too. But because of the whole roommate situation, I think it's going to be stifling or stif stifling. 
No, I'm just yeah, yeah, the stag is going to make her feel like more stagnant. Like she right. can't really be as spring because she did comment on the fact that she couldn't be, I believe, like she couldn't, you know, walk around naked or something like that. And she didn't like the fact that he was drinking beer 11 in the morning. She's like, crazy people do that. And I see your point. I mean, starting off your day with some beer, I mean, what's the rest of your day going to be like? You just going to drink all day? I mean, that's not very productive. It's like a guy told me uh, when I worked at FedEx, he said something I never forgot. He said, you never hear anything good happen from somebody that gets drunk. You never hear somebody got drunk and saved a life. It's always something tragic. So why do it? And um, seems like his brother's kind of getting fed up with it. But I guess he's, you know, it is his brother. So, but if he marries this girl, he's going to have to put his wife ahead of his brother. So. Yeah, someone's feelings, uh, one of their feelings are going to get hurt from the situation, which isn't really fair. I think they should both be understanding, you know, mm -hmm. she should be more understanding that she's going into his life and that is his family yeah. and his brother should be more supportive and, you know, understanding that, you know, this is his brother and he is in love with her from what we've seen so far. Um, so like, you know, having that support from a family member definitely makes you feel more comfortable, especially if they're in a living situation like that, where they're going to see each other every day. Um, but you know, I feel like eventually we'll be able to see if that'll be manageable or if she feels like it's, it's blocking her ability to, you know, feel as liberated as she is. Yeah. And, um, chances are he's going to pick the, uh, woman over his brother because he's been lonely for years and he's crazy about her so i think his brother might want to kind of um what's the word i'm looking for uh um, back off compromise mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, he's gonna get the wrong end of the deal like a uh, beautiful wife versus brother that drinks him i think the wife is gonna win yeah <laughs> So, uh, is there any couples I'm forget? Like, Muhammad and then the oh, older lady. Yeah. I don't quite... I think they get in an argument next week about her wearing a bathing suit or something. He doesn't like her, you know, dressing in a certain way, probably because of his culture, where he comes from. And uh, she seems like she's not going to fold. She's like, well, I think she told him, you knew how I dressed before. And I, maybe he thought, he, you know, people think they can change you once they get with you. So, we'll see. Yeah, she's definitely not moldable. They, I mean, out of everybody and, and their storylines, I feel like theirs is the weakest. Like, yeah, really I do not. too. Yeah, they're, they're hanging on by a string as far as keeping the interest. So yeah. maybe they might be causing confl conflict just to stay on the show. To be memorable. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, because, um, I mean, fighting over a swimsuit, it's not like she's going to be walking out the house to go to Publix in a swimsuit she's gonna wear a swimsuit at the beach she's not gonna be walking around so that's not really shouldn't be too much of an issue maybe unless it's summertime yeah and i don't feel like i don't know i don't really remember much just because again they weren't memorable but yeah. i feel like it kind of contradicts itself because i believe he's a little you know revealing himself but you know who knows maybe you know this is just something yeah I'll I'll uh, stay tuned though. Um, we'll see what happens. Ninety Day Fiance. <laughs> She's new to it, and uh, do you like the show? I like certain aspects of it. Um, I don't really watch TV, so being immersed into that type of environment is, you know, interesting. But you know, again, because it is reality, you know, I am an overthinker, so it, it kind of takes away when it feels a little bit forced or a little bit gimmicky. Right. Um, but I think that, you know, overall it is an interesting show and I can see why people like watching it. How do you feel about, do you like Married at First Sight or do you think the concept is so wacky? I think they're both very similar concepts, but um, conceptually I would like, um, which one is this one? This is the 30 day or 98 90, um, 90 day fiance and married at first sight which one do you think is the crazier concept probably uh, married at first sight i'm marrying a stranger yeah which <laughs> is ironic because even though that is the crazier concept 90 day fiance seems more entertaining um maybe it's just because they know that they're going to have to um be together you know longer than they 
would be able to be at married at first sight right like that's a bigger commitment like being with someone for 90 days some people can't handle being with someone for a week so right right and I forgot to mention too, uh, we did a review on Married at First Sight too, but they're going to have um, Where Are They Now episode next week. Um, I guess saying if they're still together after all this mess. Um, I heard a couple of the couples on, I'm switching topics, but I heard a couple of the couples on Married at First Sight stop following each other on Instagram. I think uh, Jasmina stopped following uh, Lindsay for whatever reason. I don't think they really liked each other to begin with, so, you know. But uh, like I said, a lot of this stuff on 90 Day Fiance is coming out to be a bit scripted. I haven't heard too much about Married at First Sight being scripted, although I noticed a lot of fake tears and stuff on seasons past, so it wouldn't surprise me there either. Yeah, I mean, just here for the ride. Yeah. <laughs> so what did you guys think of uh, this episode of 90 Day Fiance? Are you going to continue watching it or... What changes would you like to see? This is Mystery Woman, and I hope she starts <laughs> her own page so she can blow up. And I appreciate her coming to do this review with me. And thanks for watching. LSR forever, the reason I do this. And be fearless, homie. Yay, yay. <laughs>